Hello everyone and welcome to this video. We're going to talk about the song Yesterday today. It's a beautiful song and uh, you can play that song in many different ways. Uh, you could play it like this. Or how about playing it like this? Or maybe with more chord embellishments like this. Check out this movement from the C chord to the F chord. I really like this. Okay, one last variation. We can play this song in so many different ways. Some people might like the more simple versions with the, the simple chords. Some people might want to jazz it up a little bit and play some more involved chord progressions. And today I just wanted to play through the song and talk about the different variations that I like to use in this particular song and why I use them and why they work. So let's dig into this lesson. Here we go. So if I just play through the first part of the song with the melody and chords, I put in the key of C major, so uh, the melody starts on the D note here. And then I, then I go into B minor chord, B minor 7 to be precise. And then E7, the melody goes, which is really nice, and I use sometimes just an E major chord here and you can voice uh, move this shape up like this and then diminished and then A minor and I really like the way this melody is written it, it lands on that A minor chord we play the B note on top which is the 9 of the chord isn't that a beautiful song just that melody That's such a beautiful move, I think. So it starts off simple like that. A minor. And then it goes to F. And I sometimes like to use just play F like this. I go to this F chord. And that's just third fret here, fifth fret, and then third on top fifth fret right here and that's just an F triad and then I play a G7 chord with my bar, index finger bar here on the third fret and then play the melody to F to C that's the first part
then just F. And then I move down the bass, kind of like a G with a B in the bass with the melody here on the third fret of the B string. A minor. And then I just play the open E string and then slide this shape up two frets. So it's like, like a D C shape, but on the third fret with index finger. And that's a D major chord actually. I like that move in the song, but I keep the A in the bass there. And then just play that A note on the second fret of the G string and then play F to C. I, I love to play this G in the bass here. I, I don't know why, I just love that low. Isn't that nice? It sounds good with the electric guitar and a lot of reverb. <laughs> anyway, so that's one way to play it, but I also like to play it like this. What I did there was with my right hand, I just play an ar arpeggio, so. Not an arpeggio, I actually just play the notes of the chords but playing it like a roll. So ring finger, second, index, and thumb. And then you can play this chord if you want. That's a, like an F sharp diminished. And then same thing here, which is like a G sharp diminished or it's an E7 with a flat 9 actually. It's just a substitution for that. I have a lot of lessons about using the diminished chords as a 5 chord with more tension going into the next chord. 5 chord meaning E7 leading to A minor. You hear that voice? Go down a half step, right? So. That's why diminished chords are so useful because it, it brings a little bit more tension to the seven chord leading into the next chord. So we go. I use this actually, still E in the bass and I use this E7 flat nine with a sharp five, but the, the melody is here. And then A minor. And I love to do this move, listen to this. I move down to that F chord, isn't that cool? So, uh, and then we land on the F chord. And here you can do either, you can go, What, what's that? That's just 10th interval. So I play E on the 7th fret of the A, A string there and 8th fret on the B string and then move that shape down a whole step and then here 3rd fret and 5th fret and then G with B in the bass again and then F with A in the bass. Open A, A string there and then C with G in the bass. So or you can put a G, a G note in between that G string like this. That's a cool cool way to play it. It's like, you know, it's like that kind of move, you know. go into the A minor and you can go either like you did before or you can go I'm thinking E7 flat 9 to A minor instead of G with B in the bass to A minor it's more tension and then you can either play D with G, F sharp in the bass or like we did before, just a D triad. And then F. Or check this out, you can go F, F minor as well. Because that voice is going down. Like that. 
Check it out. Something like that. That's pretty cool. Another thing that you can do right here, when you go up to that F chord, after that, um, well, actually into that F chord, I like to do this. Same thing. Here, I go like this. A minor. What is that? I'm playing A minor 7 to... So that's a D9 with the F sharp in the bass. Or you can play it like this. Just the top of the D9 chord, you know. And then we go to the F major 9. I like to do this. So that part I'm going to show you slowly. So I go into that F chord. Uh, let's see. A minor. major 9 with a bar on the 5th fret with a pinky on the 8th fret of the A string and I do this harmonics so what I do there is slowly harmonics let's see just to grab the chord and then play index second and ring finger like a roll harmonic open and a high E string and then G with B in the bass like that, I play the melody, G would be in the bass, and the melody, and then I walk down. So that's G would be in the bass, to B flat dominant 7 with a sharp 11. <laughs> because we're going to F, so I want that bass line to go to the A, which is the third of F. That's why it works. F, F minor. Okay, so this is a weird move, but I like that move because it's changing up that song a little bit. It, it's a little bit different from what you're used to hear when you hear this song. So I'll just play that slowly. So what that is, is F, sh F, uh, uh, sorry, F with A in the bass, and then F minor, I just lower this second finger a half step to the 4th fret, and then pinky on the 5th fret, and then I play this same shape as before almost, like an E minor, e minor with a G in the bass. And then I play this. Okay, listen to this. So I'm playing that F major 9, going into the G with B in the bass, B flat, F with A in the bass, moving that down to E minor, and then I play this. Usually we're used to hearing E7 or G with B in the bass, something like that. But I like to play that. I learned this from, from a friend of mine. Uh, you can go, I play it B flat triad with A flat in the bass. And that is actually like going like this. We're going to A minor, right? So a half step above always works. If you're going to minor chord, you can play a dominant chord a half step above, right? Like that, B flat dominant to A minor. But I'm thinking just a triad with the flat seven in the bass. And what happens? Well, we have a chromatic bass line from A flat to A and, and this shape, like that so 
to A minor and then move down the bass D with B, F sharp in the bass F minor you can do any chord there, C major 7 or, or just to try it you know, like something like that by the way, over that E7 chord going to A minor uh, I used, instead of E7 e there, I used that uh, triad, that difficult sound. <laughs> that little bit weird, that might be too much for some people. <laughs> Sometimes it's too much for me too. But uh, the E7, you can play an E7 to A minor and then play maybe a line over that E7 instead. Maybe like this, so you go, um, after you've done that first part, you go, and I use that lick before, it's like that's E7 so it's like a diminished chord from the flat 9 of the uh, of the E chord, so that's F so I, I just play a diminished arpeggio over E7 you can do that anywhere you know, you can use the scale as well. So I might play a longer line there. Um, Seven E dominant seven E altered. Something that leads strongly to A. I'm using E altered uh, or diminished, you know. Something like that. So anyway, I'd like to show you another variation. So in the beginning, instead of going C, I like to play F minor. You can do that here, F minor 6. So I'm playing. And to C major 7. This voicing. So... Eleven, so, and then I do this. So what was that? Well, all those chords. So uh, I'll do it again. B minor eleven, playing the melody, and then I play this chord, which is a D diminished. To F uh, to C thirteen, B seven sharp five with, and then B flat nine to A minor, because the bass then moves like this, right? You can go. Love those chords and why does it work well actually I'm thinking D diminished is like a 5 leading to C so it, it goes like D G7 to C and I'm thinking G7 flat 9 with D in the bass this is uh, sounds more complicated than it is it's just I'm thinking like G7 to C but it's a C dominant chord dominant 13 which leads nicely a half step down to a B th B7 dominant. And I like to use this sharp 5 because next chord is a B flat dominant again. And then A minor. And why those chords work? It's because I'm using the cycle. It's a flat 5 substitution. 
it's a substitution that the B7, I'm, I'm going B7, E7 to A in some way, right? So, so B7, B flat 7 to A minor. So, and even before that B7, I play that C7, which is a substitution for uh, F sharp dominant 7. So, it's kind of like, uh, I, I'm, I have a whole free lesson on YouTube on this subject. If it's too complicated here, check out my uh, lesson called the flat 5 substitution on YouTube. Just uh, search my name and flat 5 substitution. Um, you, you'll, you'll find how to do that. There's also um, a lesson called back cycling. Uh, uh, just search my name and back cycling. You'll find it on the Pro Guitar uh, YouTube channel. That's where I go through why these chords work. And I th think it sounds so cool, right? So uh, we go... Like that, and then we go... And then the same thing as before. Okay, that's how I work through these chords. That, that's some of the ways that I like to play. There's also a crazy way like this. Same thing as before. And then I do the same thing, B minor. <laughs> what I do there is that I'm playing then I play E triad, like, like an E, just the double stop, ninth fret on the G and B string. And then I play this line. So I'm playing the melody with this line beneath. on an E minor 7 flat 5 and then A7 with a flat 9 to D minor because I want to play a D minor to G7 to C after that so I, I kind of go into that 2 chord using an A dominant chord leading into that chord it's uh, actually when I'm talking about this it sounds so much more complicated than it really is in this case I'm just thinking of a chromatic line. I'm just trying things out when I arrange, arrange sounds like that. So this part, it doesn't really work, but it, it works, you know? So what, why it doesn't work, you know, why it sounds weird is because when you get, get to this note, but I'm, I'm thinking this note as a, like a half step above playing like, almost like playing B flat, minor 9 leading to A flat minor or A minor 9 so a half step above you can also think of this as like an E altered sound or E, e uh, 13 sharp 5 <laughs> maybe and then I move the voice down more going into E minor 7 flat 5 to A dimin A sharp uh, sorry A dominant flat 9 so that's two diminished chords right there you remember the diminished chords is substitution sometimes for the uh, dominant chords to D minor and then I go like this and what that is <laughs> that is actually a movement that goes D minor to G7 and then F with A in the bass, and then move that up, B flat diminished or A sharp diminished, and then G over B, and then F, F with C in the bass, F minor to C. That's kind of a smooth, smooth move, right? Okay, so I'll do that part again. What that, 
that wasn't the ending there. I just played B E7 with B in the bass to A minor 9. Isn't that nice? Just it's just an A minor chord, but with the 9 added here so that they clash. That's what we like when we listen to the music, when things clash. <laughs> much so much more boring to play right it's more beautiful I think to like this that's a C major 9 that's a cool voicing anyway that's a lot of ideas there uh, I hope you like this uh, little walkthrough of this crazy arrangement of uh, um, yesterday I'm gonna stay tuned by the way, I'm gonna put the B section and play, uh, make a B section video as well, you know, this part. Um... I'm gonna play that part in several different ways as well, so stay tuned for the next part of this YouTube video. Have a wonderful day everyone! And I'll see you very soon. Bye.